Let's get the latest on this now from President Trump. On the final leg of his trip through the Asia and the Philippines, our chief White House correspondent John Carl has been with Trump every stop on the way. And John, the White House is in a holding pattern on the whole Roy Moore issue. Any sense if the president will ever weigh in definitively? Well, we're told he won't weigh in while he's over here on Asia, but he is about to head back home. The expectation among his senior aides is that he won't get involved in a big way on this. He's already said that if the allegations are proven true, uh, that Moore should step down. Don't expect much major uh, out of him beyond that, although nobody really knows for sure. And, George, there is a scenario that uh, I've heard those close to the president talk about, that if Moore goes through with this, if he wins, uh, the Senate with a two-thirds vote uh, could decide not to seat him. That would mean another vacancy in Alabama, uh, an opportunity for the governor to name a replacement, perhaps even the current attorney general, the former Alabama senator. Uh, Jeff Sessions. Yeah, either not to seat him or expel him if indeed he is seated. Meantime, the president facing a real backlash over those comments where he seemed to suggest that he believed Vladimir Putin's denial of meddling in our elections. You've got two former intelligence officials yesterday saying that Trump is being played by Putin. Uh, yes, and in terms of a response to that, I think you already heard it even before they came out to articulate that. The president actually calling uh, both the head, the former heads of the CIA and DNI, the two top intelligence officials in the country, political hacks. Uh, I, I think that that's the, uh, that's the response from here on that. You know, and John, the president's wrapping up this trip right now. We seem to have a pattern uh, around the trip of the president really uh, cozying up to these strongmen overseas, whether it's President Xi in China. We see that handshake there at the ASEAN meeting, uh, President Duterte in the Philippines, and, of course, Putin. Uh, a very warm uh, uh, conversations, uh, receptions from, from all of these, not just the strong, but also the Democratic leaders in South Korea, uh, in Japan. Really striking, though, with Duterte. The White House said uh, that human rights would be brought up. We were told it was only brought up ever so briefly in his conversations. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.